Hi everybody, this is Crappy with a K Guitars. Uh, this is their monochord that I asked Kevin to make. Um, he calls it the Evans Plank on the website. Um, I uploaded my kind of out of the box improvisation and quasi tutorial a year and a half ago. Um, and just wanted to show you if you care what's been going on since. Um, it's good for ear training and for kind of basic uh, vibrations and ratios. Um, you know, I'm sure these kind of things were used to kind of demonstrate math concepts and you know, physical acoustic vibe, uh, concepts and also to test your ear. Um, can you hear beats? And, and difference tones and things like that. Um, <clears throat> for a long time, I, I measured out some of those ratios. And what I did was um, I put them on a piece of masking tape. Um, and I was like, well, it is crappy, but it deser deserves something better than that. So I finally figured out that if you take some of this um, protective corner kind of... Uh, cover I guess oh, you know, for like hallways and things like that um, it's kind of plastic you know just 90 degrees corner protector right and I uh, using a paint pen and just kind of modeling it and measuring it so I managed to fit it right between um, the pickups, so every time I put it down, it's in basically the same location. Um, and I should show you uh, what we're going to focus on today, just the numbers. There's the, the 2 to 1 or the octave, um, 5, 9, 3, 5, 5, 8, 2, 3, 7, 10, 11, 15. Uh, we're going to Get to that in a minute. Three, four, seven, nine, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, nine. I think I'm doing some of these backwards um, in terms of how I'm how I'm describing that relationship, but really it's the same thing. Um, you cut a string in half, right? That's one over two, and so you get half the string length. But what happens with um, the vibrations of that string itself um, it's now v vibrating twice as fast as the full string length so one to two and two to one um, though they seem like you know uh, mathematically the opposite um, they're actually you know related in, the, in terms of vibrations versus ratio inches string length, um, not string length, scale length, and I asked it to be tuned to a D. Um, like a bass guitar D. And there we see it. 73 and a half vibrations per second. Now if I Put the marker up here. Here it's at 147 approximately vibrations per second and you can tell it's an octave higher. And if you do it right, left and right of the movable bridge, it should sound like the same note. What I've learned that's kind of cool is 
um, you, you only really need to use half of a monochord. Um, so that's why I'm zoomed in on this particular thing. But in terms of you know four ninths or five ninths, it's the same material um, of string length. It's just about which side you play it on. So. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good E if you play it on this side. It's closer to a C, right? So I haven't moved it, but I've got two different notes out of it because I'm just playing it on either side of the bridge. So here's the right side. And I'm just muting a little bit. Otherwise you get that sympathetic. Well, not really sympathetic, but um, because there's pickups on both ends, you'll pick up a little bit of both. Now if you play it, Okay. So having said all that, um, these ratios are classic 2 to 1, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. Uh, those are the classic kind of easy or simple ratios. Some of these might seem a little bit difficult. Um, ninths or eighths and those are a little bit more difficult to divide into 30 um, and I plan on making like a third video uh, immediately after this to show a little bit about how that would work but all I'm really doing um, is just limiting to simple ratios and that's what people did um, or the people still do when when constructing kind of intervals they limit themselves to you know, single digit integers or up to 10, depending on if they feel mathematically inclined. Um, and they'll kind of stop there, recognizing that that gives you kind of a wealth of things. Um, if this series ever gets to part four, we'll talk about um, Harry Parch's tuning and he, 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 his uh, tuning system evolved over the years. Um, we started off with a, with a simple nine note thing and um, a ten note thing it just, and then it just kind of relationships between them and I think his 43 tone scale was like just like a, an 11 series uh, that he just kind of adapted a couple different ways okay what I want to do is just show you what these markings sound like and hopefully you can see the tuner mm. That's a nice D. You go to f 9 over 5. Something close to an E. And I'm to the right of the camera, so I'm not sure if I'm exactly where a 5 ninths is. 3 fifths. And it says G flat, but it sounds like we're doing a major scale. And as I slide it, you can hear that left part of the string activate. And it's not really um, super detailed. You get up to this. You can see just by rotating the bridge that it's going to affect that. Okay, so that's the simple one. Now, as I was, you know, making this scale, um, you know, I use this for for improvising or for teaching or for maybe like meditative ear training. Um, you know, as I did that, it's like where there's only six tones. Uh, if you limit yourselves to uh, just 10 divisions um, in that first octave there you only get six six notes so I did a little research and came across the idea of 11 fifteenths or 15 11 and 
that gives you, you know, the seventh degree. And I was like, ah, 15, that's, that's pretty, that's beyond my set limit of 10. Um, however, it is an easy division of 30. Um, and I already had some of those. Like I have a, you know, um, a, a 9 15 here, right? Um, you just, you know, 12 15 here. Just, you know, just a matter of um, finding all of those points along the way that line up. So if I add that. So that uh, 11 15 gives you that something that's like a, a C sharp. So let me play the whole thing for you. It's like playing fretless bass or fretless guitar or cello or violin, whatever. Um, it's good to have kind of aural or in this case visual signposts for knowing where those those kind of normal things are. Not normal, but just kind of standardized. Um, just to, to have a place to go. And then of course, you know, you can f have fun. <laughs> So that's the second octave, and from there, and it's you could go fifteenths or tenths further this way. However, um, the pickup gets in the way here, but that's okay. Let me do this one more time. I'll show you the simple. And just one last time, um, so I'm just playing that one octave because of the ratio system and the fact that you're interrupting a, a string length um, and making it smaller, you get um, that scale built up. But as you heard, of course, it's possible to then play this the scale on the right side getting longer so what we're doing in this direction is breaking from that octave above the D um, stepping or kind of moving down towards the octave to get to where the open string would be mm. see how some of this gets microtonal um, when you're playing a, a guitar and you're playing on the high frets you notice how the frets get closer and closer together um, but as you get to the lower strings the frets get wider and wider apart and what that is is a, is a kind of relation of this the um, the steps 
between you know whole tones and half tones get larger um, but on a monochord with the ratios it's possible to to explore every single one of those spaces so so there's something like a fifth above what the open string sounds like and you can see a little bit slipping here that's the flatted fifth and there's something that's exactly quarter tone <laughs> something that's even further but not quite the G yet minor third so even though I'm moving from eighth seven eight to eight nine it's just a matter of sense and the tuner so 87.3 88.3 89.3 3, so the very close closely related so slightly flat F natural. And it, just to the edge of the pick, uh, sorry, the pickup um, brings you to there. Let me play that whole thing. It's a little tricky. it up when I pulled the bridge out. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of, um, well, not a little bit, but an extensive bit of hands-on uh, monochord, figuring out ratios, scales, patterns, sounds, etc. Thank you.